these past few chances that I've had to play has helped me a lot. And um, when it comes to uh, being confident, just getting more experience on the field, especially uh, after such a long uh, break of off season, getting back on the field and um, actually having to play a full game or even close to a full game was, was good for me. And development wise, it just helps me to be, um, to, to see the game more in a different perspective with every game, there's there's different scenarios where you can land from, and there are things that you already know too that happens in a game, where you you have to make so many other different decisions, and it just helps with my experience. Thanks, Moses. We'll go to Emily Olson next. Emily, go ahead. Hi, Moses. Thanks for taking the time. I uh, assume that entrance there was just so we could see your kicks, right? Purple. Oh, you saw. <laughs> <laughs> We, we saw. Um, I was just wondering, um, specifically with Ernan, what has he told you um, and, and how has that relationship been for you this year as you're starting to continue to grow and develop as a player? Um, it's been really great, especially when it comes to a coach-player relationship. Um, we Normally, when I have uh, any questions, I ask him about myself, the team, our tactics and everything we we talk a lot and he he has encouraged me a whole lot and just being being a young kid or a young player maybe not a kid anymore but a young player on the team he gives me a lot of confidence to do what what I'm good at and he also helps me along the way like if there's something I need to improve or something I need to build up on he he lets me know and it's very, it's very uh, meaningful coming from a head coach. If if I'm gonna be um, a key player in the team, that's very important as well. And he he's doing that for me. We'll go to Dave Johnson. I wish uh, Moses, I could say I'm a young kid or slip like that, but I, I heard you mention you know, young kid, young man, and you're very much you're dealing in a, in a man's world right now, in, in a world that. Most of us can't imagine uh, what what's that like. How much joy are you experiencing in this environment, and, and the encouragement you get from your teammates, and and where do you feel now versus, let's say, last year in terms of uh, your confidence? I, I can only imagine it, it must feel like wow. I, I can feel myself growing week to week. Yeah, it feels great. I mean, for me, the most important thing is um, the the people you have around, around you, especially. The teammates, the coaching staff, even down to the to the kid kid guys and the uh, um, the physical physical therapist and everything, um, especially in in within our our little family, they they're always gonna support us. They're always gonna support me specifically in whatever I do. They're gonna be there for me, and if it's coming on the field and performing, they're gonna they're gonna have my back. If I perform well, they, everyone, it's part of that performance. And if I perform bad, it's, it's the same thing. They're gonna help me break my fall. So I think it's just the good support that I have around me. And when, when I go back home, my family members, they're all always there to like say, let's say we lose the game. They say, good job, you did all you could. Uh, maybe go, go win a game next time. Just keep going. There's no way you can stop. And all those small words go a long way, especially in rough times. And on the soccer side, I have seen a, uh, some good improvements on the field, off the field, what we're doing to, to stay healthy specifically for me because I struggled with some injuries last year. And now that this is my second year kind of, um, I'm taking more responsibilities when it comes to uh, staying healthy off the field. Moses, we got one more question, buddy. We'll go to Mauricio Gomez. Mauricio, go ahead. Uh, thank you. Uh, Moses, uh, being so uh, new in the professional soccer, you're on the spotlight. What do you tell all these young kids that are looking after you to be in the position that you are right now? 
Um, speaking from experience, I would say just obviously you have to work hard, but find find a good support team. Like gather yourself around good people that support you, that are gonna work with you to achieve your goals. And when you do that, everything seems easy because you cannot do anything alone, especially if you have such big goal to be a, a professional soccer player or some other achievements that you want to accomplish. You need good people around you to help you accomplish those uh, achievements. But um, yeah, and also personally, just taking care of yourself because if you can't play on the field due to injuries, you're not gonna achieve those goals or even be close to doing it. So just taking care of yourself off the field so that you can have the chance to even do the work that you wanna do. Moses, we actually have one more question if you don't mind, buddy. We'll go to Moises. Moises, go ahead. Hey, Moses, uh, Moises, Moses, you know, English, Spanish. Yeah. Uh, Moses, uh, what do you remember from, from those days when you first went to the academy uh, I, I know that you play for SCI Academy in the DMV. You go to the academy. Now you're a pro. How has how has your life changed? And how do you see the field when you're in the field in a starting eleven? First of all, um, my life has changed a whole lot. And when it comes to the soccer aspect, now even off the field watching a game, I don't just watch the game for the the entertainment of watching it. Now I'm actually watching with a purpose, something, picking out things that I want to learn and just monitoring certain key players, just watching the game from a tactical standpoint. Sometimes I enjoy just watching the game, but I always have that at the back of my head that this is what I do now. So if I'm going to watch other people do it, I have to be adaptive, try to take the good from what they're doing and add it to my game. No, so um, everything has been has been good. I mean, being a professional player, it's just it's been great for me. Coming from the academy, everything's been uh, a smooth, not not so much of a smooth ride, but it's been it's been pretty good so far.